Hi, I'm Emma. I'm an analyst with a bag full of data that needs to be processed in very less time. Had this to be done a decade ago, I would have thought of a supercomputer, which could run small but critical data handling tasks efficiently. But today, supercomputers have been replaced by commodity-based parallel data systems, which handle multiple data efficiently. The MapReduce model is considered as a radical new platform for processing large data. Let's understand how MapReduce works. Let's assume, data from my big bag A, contains letters from four friends. These letters need to be segregated based on their authors. Then we would pile them up. Using MapReduce, the letters will be sent and map tasks, each doing the same function, to be processed in parallel by, partitioning and combining. Data is partitioned, based on certain predefined rules, in the map tasks and returns key value pair. And, they are combined based on certain similarities between them, with the help of the reduce function. Thus, based on the rules, reduce functions will now reduce or combine them and provide the final output. Finally, the data is mapped and reduced based on a set of rules. Now, let's look at the advantages of MapReduce. It handles automatic parallel processing. Structured and unstructured data can be easily processed and synchronized, with various complex functions. You can potentially query live data with speed. Environments which analyze and report live data, use MapReduce to process multiple stacks of data simultaneously in minutes. Simplicity in writing a code. MapReduce can process multiple petabytes of data, and hence, is highly scalable. As the process can run on the physical node where the data rests, minimal data is moved, leading to better speed and efficient operations. Data is easily decoupled for storage and computation on each node for faster operation. This is amazing! Now, I can have my data processed by using any programming language in nanoseconds. I don't think so, Emma. Processing data in nanoseconds is not possible. By the way, did you know, only a Java-based framework can be used to operate on the MapReduce model? Let's me take you through the various applications of MapReduce. Location-based services widely use MapReduce for finding all roads connecting to a specified location or intersection, and finding the nearest landmark to a given address or current location. Consider a scenario where we need to know the access frequency of a URL. MapReduce functions process the log requests for the web page and output URL total count pair. Let's see how this happens. The map function outputs URL1, reduce function adds all values for the URL and emits a URL total count pair. As we know, a single log can have multiple sources. Now, to have a web link graph in a reverse fashion, MapReduce uses the web logs generated after accessing the target log as an input. Map function combines the various source URLs from where blog was accessed. Reduce function concatenates the list of all source URLs, given target URL, and emits the pair, target lists, source. MapReduce can help achieve document clustering. It includes organizing large document collection, finding similar documents, detecting duplicate content, and optimizing search. Thank you, Modalo. This clears my doubts about the MapReduce model. You are always welcome, Emma. Thank you for watching this video on Assuring Mobile Applications.